Uh, so I made a gamble on this. It's a, I don't know if you can even see that, Holzforma G255. <laughs> Didn't kick itself up one. Welcome back to our channel. It's uh, been some rainy days. Uh, we got some good action going with the uh, the winch from the other day. That uh, it seems to work out pretty good. However, got some glitches to work out in it at least. Now I am gonna go ahead and get this guy. <laughs> so I made a gamble on this. It's a I don't know if you can even see that. Holz Forma G255, which is the same thing as a still MS250, whatever. I got me a 16 inch bar on here and it's brand new. I haven't even fired it up yet. We're gonna go ahead and see if it does any good. I mean, it's a lot more lightweight. I don't have to lug around the 20 inch bar. And I can use that for the mill. I can set it up to where I can use that. Cause most of my trees, I should be able to get through it with this 16 easily. I don't have that very many big trees out here. And if I do, I'll just break down the other saw. Or I'll get an electric one. Huh. How about those electric ones? Have you guys have any of those? Have you used them? So I've been looking at the, the DeWalt one and thinking, I've got 20 volt batteries. Might as well. The thing's quiet. This thing, you know, you got to crank it up, fire it up, get it going. It could be, you know, tiresome, troublesome. So... I'm thinking about getting one of those just for limbing stuff and just doing the simple stuff around here. And plus it's a lot safer if I wanted to teach Liv how to use it versus having to try to get this going a five-year-old. <laughs> Come on now. But uh, if I can get that going, get one, try it out, see how it works. Shoot me some feedback. Let me know. Let's get this thing going right here because it needs everything. It has brand new everything. We've got to put the fluids in it. Oh, and our stand is not working where well. Maybe that's a little better. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Stop. It's a little breezy out here. It's cold. It's very quiet. I love it. It's peaceful. So, we've got to get some fluids in here. Bar oil number one. And that's one thing that I wasn't very familiar with when I first uh, fired up the other chainsaws that I've had so far. I've had three, I believe. Alrighty on this bed venture. I got me some bar oil. You can't tell because you know labels falling off. Let's go ahead and help that thing off all the way. We don't need it. We know what this is, right? So we're gonna put in some bar oil. Chain oil, bar oil. 10W30 is what uh this basically is. I don't know if it's any different. I don't know if there's any difference. Is there any difference between motor oil and the bar oil? I read something that says it's the same. This is my first chainsaw adventures. Not a whole lot of trees out there in Arizona that you had to cut down. Usually you didn't use a chainsaw on a cactus because they're kind of wet. Let's get some foolie in there. Let's get this guy shaky, shaky. Should be the same mixture. Let's get this water off the end. Should be the same mixture. I think it's 25 to 1. It smelled like it ran when they tested it. Have fuel in there, or at least a smell. it'd be good so this saw does not have a 
it's there's no prime it's self priming imagine that at least I don't see a little bulb anywhere so what I read it was a self primer so it should theoretically get to going but it's gonna take a while for us to get this sucker going so we'll find out now I don't see anywhere that says where I can put in motor oil I don't find anything there's the breather for the tank you have to stop and start and all that jazz our sparky plugs up there I don't see where I can put any oil inside this thing so we're gonna go with it yeah chokes automatic all the way down started I guess and then it brings itself up I'll give this little guy a little little try here all right so it's got a what is this 15 fluid ounce fuel tank and almost a seven ounce oil tank and I just noticed the case is kind of cracked right there or it's supposed to be like that doubtful let's give this thing a couple whirls Mind you, no fuel, so we got to get it going first. Man, you got to have some brute strength. This thing's already worn me out. Just trying to start it. I'm going to go watch a little video and see if I can tell if there's an easier way to get this thing started. Maybe, just maybe. All right, let's wall up on this thing again. See if we can't get it to start. Brakes on. <laughs> Didn't kick itself up one. Okay, that's off. <laughs> I think my chain's a little tight. <laughs> work that out and of course like everything on this channel I forgot everything back at the house this time not the trailer but the house so I've got to get building on my my shed so I have all my tools in one split place I got my my horse trailer it's got all my stuff in it too all my miscellaneous hand tools just little stuff got to get it out here that way I can really really get some work done and not to mess around trying to find tools all right i'll bring you right back i'm gonna go get the tool for the other chainsaw hopefully it's the same size if not i got a socket set out here so we'll fix the chain so i don't know what's going on but uh, the clutch doesn't seem to be engaging correctly unless this is the wrong chain but i ordered it under the premise that this was the correct bar and chain so all the dogs and everything fit but it's just it seems like it's bound up I don't know we'll leave our tension on and pull the cover off and take a look I can't get the chain to freewheel We're skipping just a little bit. I'm gonna bring you in here and I'll show you. Saved it. Everything fits as it should up until you put it together.
I think it's an 063 chain. Let me grab this. Should I bring you over here? So you can see right here how it's not physically getting where it needs to be. So that chain, well, everything looks like it's supposed to fit. But see how it misses? So I'm thinking this chain is not the right chain. I'll have to look into it. All right, I had to break out trusty dusty Pull and Pro. Thing's actually been a really good saw. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this stuff up so I can get it rolled out of the way. I gotta get this stuff cleared up. I can't take any more time on that other little saw. I'll figure that out. Some downtime, rain time. But I'll get it, uh, get it wrapped up. Let's cut some trees. Let's cut some stuff. Let's chainsaw. Ah. Gloves are a little wet. It's moist out here. All right, here's our next dilemma. Branch caught in the tree. We're gonna see if we can't finagle it down. this thing down. I figured the, the wind and everything else would have drugged this thing down. Nope. 
it is a it's that black oak or whatever dark oak I don't know. but good old sledgy worked out i hate tying my tie down straps in knots though nothing's more annoying than getting a tie down strap with knots in it but gotta do what you gotta do right come up with whatever you can to make something work we did Gonna be able to move it. So we got a lot of progress done today, as you can see. Got a lot of these logs to move yet. And man, they're waterlogged and they're heavy. <laughs> they are heavy, heavy. So I got a workout. Anyone wants to come and, you know, lift with me. Guns are ready. I got this last one cut down. Um, that one right there, this cedar that's sitting right there, wherever my finger points, I don't know. <laughs> that one right in front of me anyway. That one, I'm going to top it, so I need to do it a little bit um, higher up because I'm going to actually use that one for, uh, I've got a light, a solar light I'm going to put out here. That way the garden, I can have light on it at night when we're working on it in the summertime and whatnot, and just to have, you know, light. Um, so I'm going to leave that in the ground, plus I'm going to use that, this tree right behind me. Can't see in the picture here. This one out over here, we're going to use that one to that one. So in between these two, that one, this one, I'm gonna use that for a fence. So right in here, I'm gonna have my trailer. And then right here, this is actually going to get, uh, I'm gonna leave it growing. I'm gonna have a fence that goes across right here. 
straight across all the way over. That way I still have this space to get in and out with the trailer, um, easy parking, and the garden will go down and extend that way. And I don't know how big it is. I'm gonna measure it, but that way I can still get all of my deliveries of, I gotta get in some field dirt. I need, I need dirt here. I need to level this out quite a bit. I've got about three to five foot of fall. <laughs> So I need some dirt one way or another. I need to fill something and it helps my drainage. Um, not so much up here. I do have some that's over there that is iffy and a lot. And you know, obviously everything drains downhill, but I've got a washout right there. I got to fill in um, from years past and whatnot, but I'm pretty much set. I just got to move all these trees. It's manual labor. This stuff is hard. It's a lot harder than using the excavator guarantee you that when i get a chance i'm getting another excavator or dozer to assist with uh <laughs> clearing up these trees i need to get a chipper chipper out here i want to do the cedar shavings and whatnot use that for my inside my garden bed so i get those all chipped up and then i've got a couple more trees over here in a stump that i'm going to take care of and then i gotta buck all this up and get it ready for a lumber stack i need to figure out i need to start building something to put my lumber in so it can dry out so I can start splitting it. I've got a whole big pile down there of some oak that'll be ready next year, hopefully seasoned by then. Um, maybe if we're lucky, whatever, we'll use it anyway. It should dry out pretty good. I want to keep it covered. And then a lot of this cedar over here and stuff, I'm gonna try to utilize. I'm gonna try to use it with my sawmill. So that's why I'm stacking this all right here. It's a pretty level area that I can put this, I can put it up here. And then I can actually possibly do some overhead cabling and get something I can use to, to pick this up with the crane, crane-ish style or something, or winch, I don't know. We'll figure something out and I'll probably end up building some sort of structure that uh, will pick this material up. That way I can move it and cut it and, and utilize it. And then I'll end up building something out here. But overall, we're in a really good direction. Um, thanks for, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions or anything, shoot them down there in the, in the messages. I'll respond to them. Someone will respond to them. <laughs> if not me, but, uh, thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.